guys, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm gonna to make you a, a dish that's not really Greek, but I love it. It's called chunky guacamole. Guacamole is technically, of course, a Mexican dish. And since I live in Houston, Texas, there's a big, huge Mexican population here. And honestly, I've had some of the best guacamole here ever. So, but I like, I like it to be more chunky. I'm not a huge fan of the mushy kind. So I'm gonna teach you how to make it. It's really healthy super nutritious and very easy. You just need a few fresh ingredients. You need some avocados. I've already chopped up a few, but I'm gonna to talk to you about the avocado after I'm done how to choose the right one. You need a jalapeno for this. I just I chopped one up right here. You need about half of a red onion, a little bit of cilantro chopped up, lots of lime. I love lime in my guacamole. Uh, some tomatoes, salt, pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. That's it. Oh, and a a garlic clove. So when you're choosing avocado, you want it to look like this. You want it to still be slightly green, but more going towards like the, a little bit like an eggplant color. You don't want it to be dark like this and kind of smushy. It's going to be kind of black inside. And I'm going to show you. I'm going to cut into both of these and show you the difference. So let me show you what a ripe avocado looks like and what, it, what an overly ripe avocado looks like. You see this is still beautifully, beautifully green and it's still really moist. And then this one, wow, it's still green, but it's kind of like, I guess I would call it kind of, it looks like it's, it's almost like veiny and, and has like some hair in it. But most of the time, avocados that are like this would be mostly kind of like grayish black inside. And those don't taste that great. So when you, want to, when you cut an avocado, you want to take the seed out with a knife. It comes out really easily. And then you can go along the skin, kind of the way you would chop up a mango. And then you can just, with your knife, the skin is pretty thick, so the knife, unless it's super sharp, shouldn't go through this. Kind of make cubes and make them, I like it to be a little fat, the avocado pieces, because when they get mixed up, it's going to get a little bit crushed up, crushed up, and I don't want it to mush up and be like a mushy guacamole. It's a chunky guacamole. Again, go all around the skin, and with the knife, cut some lines vertically and horizontally, and then you have chunks like this, and then use your finger and kind of get it all out. Now, you want to chop up some tomatoes. Okay, we're going to add our, so we have our tomato. Look at how beautiful that looks already. That color just screams, eat me. So I'm going to put my chopped up, and I finally chopped up this red onion. I'm going to save the other half for later. I have finally chopped up jalapeno, and it's one medium-sized one. It was about this big. I cut it in half and I took out the seeds. Now the seeds are the spiciest part of, the, of any pepper. So if you don't want to be crying or like sniffling while you're eating, take out the seeds and dump them. And I would even suggest to put on a pair of gloves because that spiciness kind of sticks on, stays on your fingers. And if you forget that you cut jalapeno and you rub your eyes, it's not going to be fun, I'm telling you. Put the chopped up cilantro. And cilantro is kind of like a, a Mexican parsley. It has a complete different flavor than parsley. So I highly recommend that you use cilantro and you don't substitute parsley for this. Now I'm going to finely mince up a garlic clove. I'm going to take all this garlic up, put it in here. I'm going to wash my hands and I'll cut up the limes. Now we're just going to slice up some limes. Limes are really aromatic. Now you could substitute lemon for this if you really don't have limes, but I really recommend that if you can find them, you just put them in here. Let me fish out the seeds. Limes are great. They don't have as many seeds as lemons. Okay, I'm going to squeeze lots of lime juice in here. Let's add a little bit of lemon juice to this. No, this is not lemon juice. This is olive oil. Just a little bit of olive oil, not a lot. A sprinkling of sea salt. It's going to bring out all of these flavors and kind of put them all together. Some black pepper, freshly ground. Let me get a big spoon to mix this all up. I'm just going to mix this all up. It's 
smells really, really fresh and delicious. You could serve this with a side of fish or chicken or with some nice chips, nice tortilla chips, corn chips. Honestly, I like to eat it just like this as a snack. Now, I'm going to taste a little bit and see if it needs a little more lemon juice, lime juice, I mean. Let's see. Yep. That's perfect. I could smell the difference. I'm going to take some out, have a little snack. You guys go on the website, www.demetriusdishes.com. Go ahead and make this as a salad tonight or serve it. You know, watch TV and eat this with some chips with your friends, talk, have fun. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.